Thank you for watching this DS Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at the disassembly function. The disassembly function is part of the production module and can be used to break down inventory items into their component products. It can also be used to carry out unit conversions, for example, from pounds to kilograms. To begin using disassemblies, you must first create an inventory item with bill of materials, which is covered in our assemblies video. Once you've created your product with assembly bill of materials, you'll be able to adjust its bill of materials to support the disassembly process. If you'd like this finished good to be automatically disassembled whenever a purchase order for it is received, you can select the auto disassembly option here. This is generally used if you're purchasing items in one form, but storing it within your inventory in another. For more information on how to handle the purchasing and sale of varieties of different units of measure, please watch our video on additional units of measure. If a disassembly cost percentage is not manually added, the cost of the finished good will be split among the component products by each separate line item. For example, in this case, there are five lines. Therefore, 20% of the total cost will be assigned to each line, no matter the item quantity of the line. If you'd rather dictate the exact percentage the disassembly should distribute its cost with, you can use this column to do so. You can also add any labour or overheads involved in the disassembly process. As with the component products, any labour or overhead services must have been previously made before they can be added to the bill of materials. You then need to select an expense account to assign the labour to and a price tier. Once the product has been saved, you can now perform disassemblies with it. Navigate to the production module and choose New Disassembly. Choose a location where the item to be disassembled is located and where the disassembled stock will then be stored. Then enter the product code and the quantities to disassemble. You can then also calculate the maximum quantity in this location available for disassembly. Then auto pick the items from your warehouse and select authorize to proceed with the disassembly. By selecting the Results tab and loading the Bill of Materials, you can see all of the component products that have been produced by the disassembly, and the labour and overheads expended. The Quantities tab can be amended if you know that the disassembly produced more or less of the component product than specified by the Bill of Materials. Select Complete to finish the disassembly. And that concludes this video on disassemblies.